bought, brothers and sisters, you were called to be free. Only do not let your f- that freedom become an excuse for allowing your old nature to have its way. Instead, serve one another in love. For the whole of the Torah is summed up in this one sentence. Love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 19, 18. But if you go on snapping at each other and tear each other to pieces, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. What I'm saying is this. Run your lives by the Spirit. Then you will not do what your old nature wants. For the old nature wants what is contrary to the Spirit and the Spirit wants what is contrary to the old nature. These oppose each other so that you find yourselves unable to carry out your good intentions. But if you are led by the Spirit, then you are not in subjection to the system that results from perverting the Torah into legalism. And it, is, and it is perfectly evident what the old nature does. It expresses itself in sexual morality, purity and indecency, involvement with the occult and with drugs, in feuding, fighting, becoming jealous and getting angry, in selfish ambition, factualism, intrigue and envy, in drunkenness, orgies and things like this. I warn you now, as I have warned you before, Those who do such things will have no share in the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. Nothing in the Torah stands against such things. Moreover, those who belong to the Messiah Yeshua have put their old nature to death on the stake, along with its passions and desires. Since it is through the Spirit that we have life, Let it also be through the Spirit that we order our lives day by day. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other.